Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will show you the first the error Bluetooth could not connect or the Bluetooth on off button is missing in my system. If I go to Bluetooth and other devices setting and if I open the Bluetooth this option add or other devices if I click on this option Bluetooth you can see could not connect if you are getting this issue this video is for you whether you are using Windows operating system 10 11 8 or 7 we will troubleshoot this issue one by one so first of all we need to make sure that the service of Bluetooth is running inside your Windows so go to search bar type as services since the service is responsible for the windows to operate with the bluetooth okay on the services tab look for this option bluetooth audio gateway service you need to right click on this and go to its properties and make sure the startup type is automatic here and the service status is running here okay once it is running click on apply click on ok then look for bluetooth support service as well go to its properties with the right click same you need to choose this option apply ok and start the service ok and leave this one as default so two services you need to make sure it is automatic and running ok once it is done check once it is done check whether your issue is solved or not so you can see my issue is still there my issue does not resolve with the this step so we need to go to the further step we need to make sure that the bluetooth driver is in the device manager so first of all open the device manager option and you can see there is no bluetooth option here if i go to view and then show hidden devices I still can't able to find the bluetooth device okay so in this case we need to install the driver manually so that we can get the bluetooth driver here if you have bluetooth driver here you need to right click on that just you need to right click on that driver bluetooth and update it if you have it if you don't have it in the device manager i will show you how to get back in the device manager okay so open the google chrome need to type here intel bluetooth driver for windows 10 or if you are using any operating system you need to replace okay let me connect with the network okay so i have connected with the wi-fi and let me paste now you can see the inter wireless bluetooth for windows 10 click on the first link and if you are using the windows 11 you can also try this option okay this bluetooth driver is for windows 10 and 11 this is the first link for 64 bit and this one is for 32 bit okay so click on this option accept terms and conditions okay it is downloading now and i will show you once the download is done now it is almost done so i will show you the other operating system intel okay bluetooth for windows 7 let's see and you will get this link the intel one okay you can see you can download the driver accordingly 64 bit or 32 bit okay so it is downloaded now let me go to the download section here now this is the driver of bluetooth now double click on the driver to run it and click on the yes button when the prompt opens click on next option here and let's wait for the process to installation of the driver click on next accept terms and condition click on next and you need to select here the complete here you need to select the complete option and then click on next okay now the driver has been installed click on finish option once the driver installation is finished you need to restart your system so let me restart my system and then i will show you after the restart so i have restarted my system once the restart is done you need to go for a device manager and check whether the driver is visible here or not okay okay you can see the bluetooth icon is back now 
and the this driver has been installed you can see install this intel wireless bluetooth r driver it is listed here and the let me go to the bluetooth and other devices setting and check if your issue is solved or not and let me you can see now you can see the bluetooth icon is back now it is searching for bluetooth device and problem has been solved if your driver is still not in the device manager you need to look for manufacturer website and then install the driver from there so i will show you how to install the manufacturer driver if you have inbuilt motherboard on your system or if we have the custom motherboard you can look for the same model number okay so how to check your model number press window plus r button tab as ms info 32 okay and look for this option and open a notepad and type here the model number hp hp pavilion 360 convertible and copy this and open the google chrome and paste the your system model number here then type bluetooth driver and hit okay go to manufacturer website choose your operating system and then its bit Just click on submit you may have to enter the sn number serial number in order to access this how to get the sn number open cmd now you need to type here wim space bios space get space serial and then together number okay once you hit enter you should see your serial number here and then you need to copy that number and paste it on the manufacturer website and then you will see the page like this click on all drivers from here you need to look for this option driver network expand this and look for bluetooth now you can see from the manufacturer website you need to look for latest one in my case the latest one is this one expand it and read out more about it okay this one is for windows 10 once you select it you need to click on this option download and click on uh, i will install it manually and install the this driver same as before it is downloading now and you need to double click on it to run and follow the same step which i have already informed you now this is the exe file you need to double click on it you can go to click on yes button when it opens okay now click on next option click on accept terms and condition click on next and click on next next and install the bluetooth driver then restart your system and your issue will be fixed once the restart is done go to file explorer open it click on this pc go to c drive where the windows operating system double click on windows now from here you need to look for system 32 press s on your keyboard this option and on the search area you need to type for fs q u i r t and okay and then click on arrow key now it will show you this option once you find it you need to right click on the fs q u r t and you need to look for this option send to and then click on this option create shortcut and it will create the shortcut on our desktop you need to double click on that and you can send and receive the file as well okay so hope your issue is fixed now if your issue is fixed then hit like subscribe and share thank you thanks for watching